Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right so how do you export audio out of adobe audition this way you can get it out of your daw and then you can send it via email we transfer dropbox google drive whatever the client is asking for so how do we do this so first things first, I just double click and highlight the audio i don't think you have to my ocd wants me to anyway you go to file and then you go to export and then you go to file. All right, file name is where you will title your audio. And now keep in mind when it comes to voiceover, in a lot of cases, they're, they're formatting how they want you to label your file. They get very, very picky about this. So you, you want to make sure that you follow the directions to a T. Make sure that you are labeling it exactly how they want you to because, you know, every client and every agent and every different person you're going to be working with is going to have their own methods that they like. So just make sure you're following those directions. It's crucial. So I'm just going to leave it for what it is. Uh, location, make sure this goes to a, a folder that you have uh, made inside your computer. I've made a folder inside my computer, um, and it's called AAVO. That's Adobe Audition VoiceOver, and I just save everything in there. That way I know exactly where it's at. And then your format. Now, this is how this works. MP3 audio will be for auditions 99.999% of the time it will be an mp3 if you're sending an audition unless otherwise stated by you know the agent or the client or whoever you're working with on that particular project so let's just pretend this was an audition I'll leave it as mp3 however if it's a book job they will want a WAV file, okay? So a book job, they're gonna want a WAV file. Again, unless otherwise stated by someone on the project, but 99.999% of the time, if you book the job and you're sending them the final booked file, they're gonna want a WAV file. But again, let's just say this is an audition. I'm gonna select MP3. Your sample type, you've already selected these things at the beginning when you first opened and started your project, but you can change them here if you need to for any reason. I will say, for audiobooks, they most of the time they want you to send it in 44 and they want you to also send it 16 as far as the bit depth. The reason for this is it just it just makes a, a smaller file size because audiobooks obviously are going to be big file sizes because you're reading chapters at a time. So anyway, um, now format settings again. Don't worry about this. If you're going to send an MP3, you leave this alone. Let it be what it is. This is going to be a smaller file size, easier to send over email and all that good stuff. So now just click OK. And of course, I already have this on my computer. So it's telling me this already exists because this is just an audio file I use for teaching. So I would just say yes, overwrite it or no if you wanted to relabel it. So I'm just going to say yes. And there we go. It exported to my computer. And now you can send this audio via email or whatever preferred method they would like you to send it as. All right. And now now, how do you export in a multi-track session if you were to happen to be working uh, in a multi-track session? Now, of course, I didn't use these down here, so I'm just going to delete them and get them out of the way. But let's say you have multiple files that you'd like to send out. How do we do this? Well, there's a couple of ways. One, you could just select and, and export the files individually one at a time. So if I selected this and just like highlighted it, I'm just left clicking, holding down and dragging and highlight this one, I could go to file. Export, multi-track, mix down, and then selected clips. And I could go from there and I could export them, right? And I could export just that one clip. And it's pretty much the same way that we did it before in the waveform. Or I could highlight both of them, go to file, export, multi-track, mix down, 
And then still, if I wanted them to come out as their own individual clips and not export them together, because obviously they would be on top of each other, go to Selected Clips, name it whatever you'd like, do all of the regular stuff, and then in mix down options, you're going to go to Change. And this is just saying if you wanted to export them both as one mono file, it would do that, but that's not what you want here. So I'm going to uncheck that, check the track, and then this is showing that it will now export track one and track two as their own individual files. And you would just click OK, and then you would click OK. And then, of course, the other way is if for whatever reason you wanted these to both go out at the same time on top of each other as one file, you would just go to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown, Entire Session. And then this will export both of these files on top of each other as one file. So that's how you would export audio in the multitrack session inside Adobe Audition.